in the early 70s when I was taking a graduate course in adult education and learned about what the Chautauqua Institution was. And when I started my professional work at the University of Alabama, I made it a point to visit the Chautauqua Institution. This was back maybe in the mid 70s and um, loved it so much and really, really got very close to the pillars of the Chautauqua Institution of religion, arts, recreation, and um, what else? Education. I visited Chautauqua about seven times during that period of, you know, 70s to the, to the early, uh, to the late 1990s, and just loved every minute of it. It's a phenomenal place. It's hard to describe you. Everybody, I think, would love to experience a, Ch a Chautauqua. And of course, during that process of visiting the Chautauqua Institution, learned about the Chautauqua movement and the Chautauqua Trail and all the wonderful things that are happening around the country. We, we likened the Chautauqua Institution, the, the nine weeks you have in the summer, as Connie came up with the phrase, it's like Ollie on steroids. And we just could not believe what they had going on in those four pillars, whether it's even recreation and theater and opera and lectures, no matter what genre of, of literature or art or performance, they have something for everybody there. And uh, I mean, you, you all the way down to ice cream shops. <laughs> you know? Peter is the one that started the idea that Athens Chautauqua should be reborn. And I'm not sure if he knew it had been here before, over a hundred years ago. My family and I have been going to Chautauqua really every summer for two weeks for those 40 years. And when, when you know, it's one of the hardest things on earth to describe what Chautauqua is. How many show of hands have y'all been to the Chautauqua Institute? Well, you must go. As soon as we finish this Zoom, go ahead and start packing your bags. It is the way we were meant to be together. And I don't know another way to describe it. It is literally, uh, when, the, when my husband and I and our five children all arrived inside the gates, everyone dispersed. Um, the town square and the hall of philosophy and the 5,000 seat amphitheater and the regattas on the lake and the, the string quartets, you know, at the colonnade and everyone deeply interested in everyone else's thoughts and you know and lofty idea ideas and it's just across you know with spiritually recreationally culturally <clears throat> artistically intellectually uh but but at the end of the day the the it's it's the collaborative interest that the citizenry the entire family has in um, making making it the best mousetrap we possibly can for each other. What's exciting to me is that there's going to be an opportunity to bring that program to Athens and that I can't think of anything that Athens would be more receptive of. I just thought it sounded wonderful. One of the things that's very important to me is preserving history for the future for our children. I think that's extremely important. So, um, and I love the idea of performances and actors and a youth academy. So uh, I said, well, I'm on board. And I've been really excited about everything that the society is trying to achieve. Chautauqua appeals to all generations. Uh, from older adults to younger adults to children, it's a great thing for families to do together. And the thing that really convinced me of that was I went to a, a performance where a reenactor portrayed President Teddy Roosevelt. And after he did his uh, act on stage, they started passing a microphone around the audience to let people ask questions. Well, a young boy stood up and addressed the president and said, when you were in the White House, did you have any pets? And Teddy boomed back, that's an excellent question. And he knew so much about Teddy Roosevelt, he launched into this story about how his two sons 
uh, sneak their pony into the White House, up the stairs, into the bedroom of their sick brother. And he con uh, concluded, Teddy concluded with, and Edith didn't like that at all. So uh, anyway, uh, I thought that was a great affirmation for this young man's curiosity. And uh, so that's really what appeals to me is, you know, no matter how old we are, we continue learning, we are entertained, and I hope this goes on for many years. I'm very excited about the prospects for the future where we uh, continue this idea of history comes alive by presenting to our community uh, not only for residents of our community, but also maybe invited guests of uh, people from other areas, including Atlanta, Augusta, Greenville, who want to come to Athens and see these performances. The one in October tentatively scheduled is the Three Palaces of Yalta, where the performer will do Winston Churchill, uh, Stalin, and uh, Roosevelt. And uh, we really want to make a big difference in the uh, Athens community for them to understand the history of, of Chautauqua and uh, why it's such a wonderful benefit uh, for our community.